These are the cousins of giant sequoia. These are sequoia sempervirens coast redwoods, the trees you usually see me in front of. They're taller than their cousins, the giant sequoia, sequoia dendron giganteum. But the giant sequoia are more voluminous, and fatter. And among them, there's one that's bigger, fatter, juicier, and more obese than all the rest. Your mama? No. Actually, it's this dude. General Sherman. A few weeks ago, General Sherman got a checkup. Two scientists from the Ancient Forest Society climbed to the top of General Sherman to see if there was a lot of bark beetle damage and to test whether or not drones would be able to monitor the tops of trees for bark beetles. Scientist, scientist, climbing up General Sherman on a bark beetle bio blitz. They went to the top like only they could. They were hella careful because this is the Wish em Buddy Woods. Watch out, because here comes a scientist. This whole checkup, I don't know, it can be compared to like looking for lice in someone's hair who happens to be 270 feet tall. After they shimmered back down, they reported that General Sherman's beetle repelling powers were working and there were only signs of thwarted beetles, but no signs of active beetles. Bark beetles have only been a concern to scientists for a little while because in the past, bark beetles were never able to kill giant sequoias. Why now? Well, we think it's because of the prolonged drought and also because the trees have been weakened by 150 years of fire suppression. How's that, Griff? Well, by suppressing fires, there's been a buildup of fuel in the forest. So, like, if you want a big fire, you add more sticks. Well, we've been adding sticks by not letting it burn for the last 150 years. So now we got big piles of sticks. And where giant sequoias were able to defend themselves with against fire with their thick bark, they actually needed the fire to open their cones. Now, since they're burning so hot, it's killing a lot more of the giants than used to die. And this new threat with the beetles, only 40 have died so far, but when you don't have a whole lot of these trees left, 40 is a lot. So if you want to learn more about this, go to savetheredwoods.org and read our blog titled, Are Bark Beetles Harming Giant Sequoia? If you want to see scientists climb coast redwood trees, you can go to the Coast Redwood Canopy app and see a couple scientists way up in the top, 300 feet up in a tree. Scientists love to climb trees. It's so interesting. And a canopy ecology is also very, very interesting. So check out our app and just know that you'll never, ever, ever, ever see me up in one of these trees. I'm afraid of heights, y'all. That's not happening. I ain't going up there. No, no, no. If you ever see me up in a tree, know that something is wrong. It means a tsunami's coming or something or Godzilla, something, if I'm up in a tree. Remember, General Sherman is a boss and he's okay. He's passed his checkup. And know that Save the Redwood League, we got your back in preservation and restoration and conservation. So you can go visit us at savetheredwoods.org.